Right, so... We have the bars, so that makes my riflemen a lot more useful, to be quite honest. Uh, they have really good fire. We're just going to retreat these guys, heal them, and then bring them back. So then we can easily deal with that stug. Going to move these guys up here with the support of my infantry. And what else do we have? We have all of these men over here. So one over here, one over here. Let's just spread them out. So if they do have a mortar, it won't be that much of a problem. They do have some LM Volts Grenadiers with an, a light machine gun. Hopefully my men can take them out. If not, the mortar is there. He'll fire some off. Maybe at the Stug, though. Uh, it looks like he's fired at the Stug. But we shall see momentarily. Oh, no, he's fired at this unit. The Volts Grenadiers. But whatever, I don't really mind. As long as he's already got seven kills, he's doing very well. Very proud of him already, and it looks like these Volks Grenadiers are basically pinned. Uh, we have this machine gunner. I want to move him up to here. Including the sniper, actually, yes. Let's bring the sniper up here as well, just for some support. So, both of my Shermans are... Um, both, of, both of my Shermans have been healed, so I can move them up now. And where are those guys with the rocket launcher? I know I have two of them. Ah, uh, one are here. Where have they gone? Right, I might want to make another triad center. Because it looks like it, it's much easier if your uh, a triage or triad center is in range of retreating troops, so you don't have to move them back to get um, to get healed. This guy is not giving a shit and he's getting attacked. I don't really know what he's doing. Actually no, we could just throw a sticky bomb and just finish him off. We did lose a man there. Bit of a shame. But we have taken it out, which is good. Uh, move on the machine gunner. Let's just move him up to there and also these two just to help out. Once again I'm going to move up these Shermans. And we're just going to rush these Volts Grenadiers. They do have an LMG, but I have superior men and also grenades. Whoa. And Kabuzi. Right, so that's all those Volts Grenadiers taken out. Uh, it looks like they're coming over from that bridge, so I might want to set up the machine gun actually in that building there. This one actually is a better one. Has more health. And these can help out. Uh, let's see, Firefly into here. We are taking a bit of fire, but it's no biggie really. There's some more Volts Grenadiers here, hopefully the machine gun can deal with them. And if not, I'll bring up these other two troops to help out. I'm just gonna basically burn this guy. He is not gonna hope. And neither of these Volts Grenadiers, they are very much out. Enemy unit down. Looks like they have some kind of mortar somewhere. Um, I might as well take this position, so let's take another fuel point. Always useful. If I want to reinforce with anything, we do. We have floating a lot of resources, but the thing is, I don't really need any more troops right now. I'm doing pretty well with what I have, so. Taking damage? Taking damage? Who is? Oh, you guys are. Okay. Alright, we'll just face them. We're gonna turn the mine clearing device, or the flail, back on just to help out. Looks like we torched those men without any serious problems. Just gonna move up some more infantry to help out. Let's just move these guys up. Tanks are basically useless in this game without infantry support because all you basically need is one AT gun and the tank is really gonna struggle. So, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Let's just move in the flail there, help them out. See, there's an AT gun, we need to retreat. I don't want that AT gun to destroy my tank for obvious reasons. <laughs> I don't want to lose a tank at this stage. Uh, Enemy unit my engineers are here, so let's just move up the NGs. They can help. We are getting attacked by a machine gun, but it is a machine gun, so it's not going to do that much damage. And after we've killed these troops, I can move around with the Sherman, hopefully out of the range of that AT gun, and just take out this machine gun head on. Just stand here, I think, is the best decision. These guys are pinned, 
Um, they must have got pinned by the machine gun fire, so I'm gonna use these guys to take this point instead. Machine gun is finally down. My guys are still pinned, but hopefully they can take it without too much problems. What have we got back here? We have the sniper, which I haven't used that much, because I haven't really had to. So I'm going to use him to uh, to help out my machine gun if he needs it, and also these men as well. As I said, they can create some defenses, so I'm going to make some sandbags for people to hide behind. We're taking both these points. There is an AT gun, which is a bit of a problem. And there is one guy there, which is annoying me, so I'm just going to torch him, just to finish him off. And the AT gun is still there. We just move back. Did we kill him? No. Oh, that's annoying. But he has moved, which means that my other Sherman can finish him off. Right, so we've taken this point. Once again, I'm going to put an observation post there. And I'm going to move in this Sherman to see if I can take any pot shots at anyone. Looks like I can't, so I'm going to move back outside of the range of that AT gun. Just into this little crevice behind the houses. Right, this guy is healing. Where's my other engineers? My other engineers are back at base, which is fine. Just means it'll take them a bit of time to get back. I could use this time to actually replenish my troops and move up my mortar, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Gonna move these guys, gonna retreat them, and these guys as well, just to get that little sliver of health back. You never know when it might be useful, especially when there's one guy left against one, uh, one man. These guys are fine, they're fully replenished, and my mortar will actually be very useful in this situation because I can basically use my tanks to spot all my engineers and I'll just do that actually um, and use them to spot for my mortar my mortar already has one uh, chevron which is very useful and this guy might as well take the flail off just to get rid of that annoying noise for a second so let's just he is near the HQ. There we go. Alright, so when these guys are reinforced, I will move them in to attack their AT gun. Let's get that, just if I need it later on. Okay, so they're all reinforced, so they're basically going to be used to attack that AT gun. And also, I'm just going to put down another one of these. It doesn't block any uh, tanks, so I might as well use it. And also, it produces additional cover if anybody needs to move into it. Oh, we have a Puma. 